Well, it is one of the most dangerous sports in the world, and it's here in Las Vegas. The best bullfighters are competing on the strip this week, and our Paulina Butska got an up-close look at this high-risk sport that's growing in popularity. It's different for every person. Some of them may really be evaluating their life choices. 60 seconds, man versus beast, in a competition that is downright terrifying. Bullfighters face off with a 1,700 pound animal with nothing more than skill, athleticism, and footwork. In America, people immediately think swords and capes, you know, ultimately harming the bull, and we don't do that. Instead of swords or capes, we use our body to direct the bull. Uh, and if anybody's in any danger of harm, it's the bullfighter and not the bull at all. American bullfighting made popular in the 80s, later fell off until its revival in 2015 by a couple of bullfighters who never quite gave up the sport. Bullfighters only started as a, a small online company for gear for bullfighters. And then in 2015, we started our first event over at the Las Vegas Convention Center, and it has continued to progress now until 2023. This year's competition getting back to its roots. We've had bullfighters from other countries come. I don't know when we've had this close of a connection uh, of truly being grounded back to where the origin of the sport. Spaniards Jose Poca and Christian Blanco both competing for the first time in Las Vegas and in American freestyle bullfighting. These guys in particular, they're the best in Spain. They're the most popular bullfighters in Spain. Alongside Joe Flores, who helps translate this interview, the two explained to me that Spanish bullfighting and American bullfighting are two very different disciplines. See, over there in Spain, the, the, the training is different. They train with real live animals all the time, and here we have a, we call them dummies, but we used to train. Right now, his mindset is just to give his best that he can, make Spain proud, and uh, show the world that, uh, that, you know, Spanish bullfighters could also compete in this style. Jose Poca entering the arena on Thursday, but unfortunately was hurt and didn't finish the mandatory 40 seconds needed to qualify for the championship round. On Friday, Christian Blanco will have his chance at proving himself. But having these two Spaniards in the competition brings hope that one day, maybe more people will enjoy the sport. I think it opens the door to a global platform 